In this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite new route combinations out of the bunch tight end in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what the channel is about, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. Now, I teach that every day through studying pro players, through doing tips and strategies just like this one, and through my ebooks as well. Now, if you want to get an ebook, that link is in the description. And if you have any questions about anything you see in today's video, go ahead and hit me up via text message. My number is in the top left hand corner of your screen. All right, guys, so my new favorite play from Bunch Tight End, and I actually found this late last night in the lab in this tight end corner. This play is absolutely insanely good. I knew that the run heavy playbook was the way to go because of this play, and, I mean, it does not disappoint. So what you're going to see here is I'm just going to run some man coverage. Um, I think I'm going to see a decent amount of man coverage in the Madden Classic, but basically what we're going to do is we're just going to smart route table on Austin. We're going to put Aaron Jones on an in route. We're going to take Tunyon. We're going to put him on a streak. And then from there, all we're going to do is we're just going to motion this out route to the outside. It's one of my favorite little tactics to deal with match coverage. And essentially what you'll see is this out route is like the perfect check down route. Now right there, he did get caught up a little bit behind the line of scrimmage. But that will, be, that will happen sometimes, but it's actually very rare that that happens. What this does is it forces their user to have to choose. Now, pretty much every single time they're going to choose that post route, that post route is one of the glitchiest routes in Madden. It's been one of the glitchiest routes all season long, especially for regs. And the reason why is because it basically beats every coverage. It beats man, it beats zone, it beats zone drops, it beats everything. And so they pretty much have to go with this route. You'll see here he's going to get inside position. I can click on and basically make a swerve catch most of the time. Now, sometimes, as you saw right there, I'm not able to do that. But, again, this is kind of a general rule. The beauty of Table on Austin's route also is that because we make people run a nickel set, people most people are going to be running nickel sets, they can't really run dime one four six or anything. He's not going to get jammed. So because he's not going to get jammed, you see there it's a very easy and very consistent route against man-to-man -man coverage. Now, the other thing is, how does this fare against quarters coverage, right? Quarters coverage is, in my opinion, the best way to play defense right now in the community. But what you're going to see is this actually does a really good job against quarters because of the different types of routes that you have and their vertical stems. So you see here, this out route is going to get taken by the outside quarter, and that's going to allow Devontae Adams with route tech to basically be one-on-one -on, -one on the safety. Now, we also know from other research that the way a lot of people like to run quarters is they like to run basically a deep half on that side of the field. Well, this is pretty much going to make their life a living. I mean, it's just going to basically make it really, really bad because what you're going to notice here is this outside quarter should take about a scantling, and he does. And then it's going to leave this wide open window where you're going to be able to hit Devontae Adams. And about 99% of the time, you'll get a rat catch animation like I just got right there and go for six. This play is absurdly hard to stop. Um, it doesn't seem like much, but I am telling you right now, this thing is really, really hard. You might be asking, well, okay, well, what if I just did some zone drops, right? What, and I use her, I use her, um, I use her the middle of the field. How's that going to fare? Well, the reason that zone drops don't work is because you're pulling all of the zones with the stuff that's going on on the right, and then essentially what you're doing also zone drops won't work because a lot of people will think the zone drops are going to take away the circle receiver the reality is they're not you're going to see here that streak pulls the deep blue and as you can see right there it's an absolute laser on the sideline so you're going to be able to dot people up with this play this play i don't call this play anywhere near as much as i should it is literally probably my new favorite play it's very similar to the play curl flat from the bunch tight or from the trips tight end set i think it might be just they're better for different reasons so if, if I were to be able to get an angle route to Jones, it would probably be better. But this in route is super, super underrated because you could basically double juke right there and turn a 5-yard run into about a 10- to 15-yard run just with that one little adjustment. So again, this play is absolutely a pain, a pain, a pain to defend. There's really not a whole lot they can do. To stop this and you can run this multiple that you can run it to different hash marks you can do different things with this but again you'll see here this quick out right there if they're not playing hard flats you're gonna hit that if they are playing hard flats they're gonna hit right there so what this forces people to do what this forces people to have to do is it forces them to basically have to do some type of um, cover three hard flat essentially and they're gonna basically take this guy over here and they're gonna put him in a hook curl they might even take this guy put him in a vert hook like they're gonna have to do a lot to stop this play and that's the reason why it's so good because it forces them to play a specific style of coverage and it's 
in direct correlate or um, direct direct conflict with the way most people want to play. And you'll see here, even the hard flat's not always going to stop this. But then take a look at this corner route. That's Devontae Adams. We all know Devontae Adams can use or catch um, in regs. Like it's a very very simple route. But it's very effective. Um, cover three does not always stop this, and that's what's beautiful about this play. Uh, cover three is is going to have a hard time with this. Um, obviously, the route on the right, that's the route they're going to have to use her. If they don't use her Tavon Austin, which sometimes they will get greedy and they'll try to go get that running back, if they don't use her him, throw it. Throw it, throw it, throw it. As you see right there, Devontae Adams, the one issue that I feel like I run into sometimes is a good cover three, like a good, a good, 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 good cover three. But, as we've shown you in some of our other videos, if you want to bomb cover three, all you pretty much have to do is essentially just streak the tight end, and you can do this from the play curl fly, or from the play tight end corner. Look at this right here. This setup right here will bomb cover three, okay? And you'll see here, they're going to run their cover three zone. Everybody drifts away. Hard, hard left pass lead, and of course, I messed up the pass lead because I got pass rushed. But hard left pass lead is going to be an absolute laser against cover three. And again, they're going to be running this with a lot of Maybelline, a lot of whatever, whatever. You know what I mean? They're going to be dropping people back in coverage. They have to at least drop three to five zones on that left side to be able to deal with this play. So then another version of this that you can run is you could do this right here. And all of a sudden, now, oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? And this slot streak to Devontae Adams has completely torched the cover three defense over the top for a one play touchdown. So bottom line is tight end corner is really good. Learn how to run it. If you're in regs and you have Aaron Jones, consider trying him on in routes. Even if you don't run bunch tight end, I think this is a very, very powerful tip. In routes to the running back are super glitchy as long as you have a flat route to pull the zones. No zone gets there. As you can see right there, it's just very, very difficult. Now what people are going to do is they're going to put yellow zones on that. They're going to start putting yellow zones at five yards on that. The problem is this is yet another zone that they have to put on that side of the field, and it's going to allow you the, – the yellow zones don't even stop it. They just kind of delay it. And so that's what's really nice about this play. So anyways, tight end corner, that's just one of several plays in our bunch tight end offensive ebook. If you would like to get a free sample to that ebook, go ahead and text me. My number will be in the description. And if you want to get the full gun bunch tight end offensive ebook that I am going to be running in the Madden Classic, that link is in the description. So far, it's been really, really getting hot right now. I think a lot of people are realizing how powerful the route combinations really are. And so if you want to learn the entire way of how to utilize this to literally dominate against any coverage it is in the description thanks for your time and we'll see you on stream tonight at 10 p.m eastern time right here on our youtube channel